hello and welcome to a new video on our Mantis Q40. Today I'm just going to take a couple of topics that we've covered in other videos and bring them to the forefront a bit because I think they can be really neat features that can be utilized by you know different uh, different folks might find them you know particularly useful. The first one I want to talk about is auto scroll. So auto scroll, what it does it is is it advances your braille display forward after a certain number of seconds or a certain amount of time has passed. So it's time dependent, not any sort of pressure dependent on when your hand actually reaches the end of the row. It's or at the end of the display, it's, it's time dependent. It can be useful for students who maybe need an extra little bit of encouragement to read a little faster if it's within their capability. Maybe the student has difficulty with their thumb reaching down to hit that next uh, thumb key to advance the display manually. Th there could be a number of reasons for that to be something that they want to try. So I am focused right now. I'm in a book. By the way, this is available in a book or in an edit editor file. So either one of those places. So. The manual doesn't make that clear. I want to just kind of throw that out there. So I'm on the first chapter of the Harry Potter book, and if I wanted to, I'm going to just start the auto scroll and have you listen to how often it refreshes. Because my guess is that you can't see the display refresh, but I bet you'll be able to hear it. So I'm going to start it with a control, or I'm sorry, with an Alt Alt G, an Alt G, and I like to think of that as go. So Alt G. Yep, and you should be able to hear that. And I can stop it at any time by pressing any key that I want, but I'm going to press escape. I like to teach students to press escape for things like this just because it's it gets them into a good habit. You know, escape gets you out of things or gets things to stop. So suppose that speed was a little bit too fast. So if I needed to slow it down, I could restart the auto scroll again, Alt G. And if I wanted to slow it down, I would do a control plus there's a that dash. So it's to the right of the zero on the number row. Okay, and you can probably hear this going significantly slower. If I wanted to speed it up, I would find that number row and find the backspace and to the left of that backspace is the plus sign or the equal sign and I would press a control and and that and that would speed it up so I'm going to press it a couple times probably hear that that goes significantly faster so it's pretty easy to adjust the speed you can also do all of those things from the context menu in case you forget those commands you can do those from the context menu as well. I'm going to press escape to stop the auto scroll. So now that we've covered auto scroll, let's just cover one more thing again that I'm pretty sure that I have covered before, but I do want to make sure to hit on again. It's called read mode. Now read mode is not available in a book because you can't edit a book file anyway. So you, you, you're not gonna wanna worry about that from here. This is a thing you would do in the editor application. Now, read mode, what that does is that takes your file and makes it read only so that you don't inadvertently add content to it or take content away. It's, it's a nice way of making sure you don't accidentally you know do something to your file. That's a very good, Thing for kids if you have, um, for example, if you've um, imported something in there that's a worksheet and you don't want the kid to modify that worksheet at, at this point or they don't want to, they just want to read it without making changes or putting in answers, it's pretty easy. So the command to enable that is control R and that will also um, turn that off. So control R is the toggle that turns on read mode and turns off read mode. It's very, very easy to do. And it's 
it can be very useful and save a lot of time and trouble. So I like those two particular um, options for the Mantis. I think it offers some more usability for our students. I hope this has been helpful for you. And if it has, just uh, give us a thumbs up in the, in the video or subscribe or leave a comment, anything like that. So thank you so much and see you next time.